guys, my name is Jade Kale, and I studied abroad in Costa Rica for the School of Field Studies, and I'm going to be giving you a comprehensive packing list on everything you should bring for your semester abroad. Joining us today is going to be my dog, Rocket, who's down here on my lap, licking my feet. Um, yeah, this is him. He has separation anxiety, and if you hear like any whimpering or whining or all that type of stuff, then it's probably him. That's right. Something to know about when you're going to be studying abroad is the wet and dry season. So Costa Rica experiences um, a summer and a winter as they consider it. So wet season is winter and dry season is summer. So um, wet season consists of May to November and dry season or summer is considered December to April. So this might affect your packing, and for me it did because I went during the winter season. So there's a lot of like rain gear and stuff, which you probably won't need as much of um, if you're going during the dry season. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> so first off, we're going to be talking about what type of bags you're going to be bringing. And I'm going to post a video later on what I actually brought to Costa Rica, but don't listen to that one. Listen to this one because I brought a whole bunch of shit I did not need. And one of my biggest oopsies was probably bringing this really big roller luggage thing. And one thing about Costa Rica is that it is not roller bag friendly. So there's like a bunch of like gravel and like uneven surfaces and roads that you just can't like comfortably bring your roller bag. So um, what I actually br uh, like suggest bringing is a hiking backpack. So let me show you a couple examples of those. Okay, so we're gonna be starting off with our hiking backpacks and I have three different ones to show you today. So this one is gonna be my smallest backpack, my North Face one. Um, so what a lot of people like to do is to travel either during the beginning or the end of the program in South America. So if you're gonna do that, I suggest you um, pack lightly so it's easier to manage all your things. Next off, I have my medium backpack, which is my, um, what's it called, Kelty. And um, so for this one, a lot of people in my program uh, brought this type of bag. Um, and it's really good for just like keeping all your stuff in and it's also um, really easy to manage and to take to like weekend trips. So I would suggest bringing this one out of all of them. Okay, so the next one, I call it Big Daddy because of course it is my biggest backpack yet. Look how gigantic that is. But yeah, so realistically, if I were to bring a backpack instead of my rolly bag, I would have brought this one because I love to bring all of my stuff. And um, just look at the size comparison between these two. That's huge. Um, but it's going to be hard to like travel around in this one. And you probably don't need all that space if you're going on like... If you're trying to go on a budget, um, I highly suggest going to thrift stores. So I got all these backpacks at the thrift store ranging to like $30 to like a hundred some dollars for these. And usually they are hella expensive at like REI or all these different like outdoor sporting brands. If you buy them brand new, which I always suggest to uh, go to the thrift store and be more sustainable. Next up, we're going to be talking about day packs and like general bags for when you're out on town. So first off, I got this one, uh, this like fanny pack in Costa Rica while I was there. And um, I love this thing. I use it now as like my purse. Um, but yeah, sometimes you need a small bag, um, just like walking around on town. And it's easy to like slip to your front so you know you're not getting like pickpocketed. Um, but yeah, it's like good like phone size so you can keep your phone in there and nice like and close next to you. Um, also, it's really good if you want to go like clubbing and stuff so you're not like carrying a humongous like backpack to keep all your stuff in. Um, and yeah, highly recommend a fanny pack to bring with you. Okay, so another word about bags is I highly recommend you bring one of these things. And this isn't just a cute little peppermint, but it's also a reusable bag. 
So when you go in town to the co-op and get groceries, this is really nice. You just whip this out and put all your groceries in here. It's also really good just like bring on weekend trips so you can like store your shoes or your bathing suit or just bring it to the um, beach. Um, something like you don't really mind getting stolen because that's always a possibility there. Um, also, a tote bag is really nice to have on campus. So I have it and I use it for like um, bringing all my stuff around, my books, my laptop. And um, I got this one at Life Monteverde and it's really cool. It's a good souvenir. So yeah, I recommend bringing these. Um, next off, I have my Kavu bag, which I brought. This is um, a really good hiking pack because it's like I can fit my Nalgene, my water bottle in here and plus like a rain jacket just in case or like an umbrella. Um, yes, lots of compartments, very good. Also good for like shopping in town and stuff like that. Another option for your day pack is this one I got here. So this is actually my brother's, but a lot of people on my program brought this and it's really cool because it has like a water bladder in here and a straw. So that's like really good for hiking. And, um, but this size is just um, something I recommend because of course you can put your water bottle and like all your extra stuff in here um, if you need it. So highly recommend. Okay. <clears throat> so next up, we're going to be talking about carry on bags or like um, bags for weekend trips and stuff like that. So I can't recommend enough a waterproof backpack. So for this waterproof backpack, I got it off of the Amazon uh, during like Prime Day. So it was pretty cheap, um, but it is so worth it. I got it for like $60 and um, it keeps all your stuff nice and dry. And when you're going on like weekend trips and you hire out like a shuttle bus or something, they don't have enough room um, sometimes if you're going with a bunch of friends in the cabin. So you have to strap your stuff on top of the bus. And when it starts raining, then you're righteously fucked because all your stuff is going to get soaked for the trick unless you bring your own like plastic bag, which those are kind of also unreliable. But this bag, everything's nice and safe and dry. And also there's like a computer compartment in the back so you can use it for like classes and things. Um, but yeah, like when you're like walking to your hostel and it starts pouring on you, then all your stuff is going to get wet unless you have your waterproof backpack and all your stuff is safe and dry and yeah, beautiful. So recommend this thing. But um, if you don't have a waterproof backpack, these are some other options for you. So this one I got at Ikea. It's really tiny, um, but also really good for like classes. Um, if you if you like want to bring your laptop and stuff and also this one I got at the thrift store for like four dollars it's the most best thing ever but um, there's a lot of compartments and room so um, this is great for like weekend trips during like the summertime or camping trips if you want to do that um, yeah good travel backpacks Next off, let's talk about rain gear. So if you were like me and you went during the winter season, the wet season, then you're gonna experience a whole lot of rain um, probably every single day. Um, so of course I recommend bringing a rain jacket. Um, so this one I actually got at the thrift store. It's the North Face one and it's really good, um, but also, what I brought um, is this uh, Frog Tog. So I love this brand Frog Tog um, because it's nice and breathable and it comes with a stuff sack and um, it's actually a full rain suit. This is what I mean by rain suit. So you're, you got your pants and then you got your jacket, of course. And Frog Tog is like really lightweight, which is why I love it. Um, but when you go on hikes, this is really nice to have in your day pack um, because uh, if you're going on like a night hike, which you will um, probably at some point, um, these pants are really good because it's really muddy and like when you're walking, your feet kind of like touch and then like you get this like 
streak of blood down your calf. So it's really nice to have these and like tuck them into your rain boots. And of course, your rain jacket that can easily but be put like over any of your clothes. So Okay, next off we have our packable umbrella. So I actually went through like two or three of these umbrellas while I was in Costa Rica. And you can buy a whole bunch there because it's always raining. And if you go to like Central Market, you can get some really cute umbrellas with some like Costa Rican designs. Um, but umbrellas you just like leave everywhere and plus they get stolen a lot so highly recommend this just for like walking around like going um, popping up in case it starts raining while you're walking around in like um, San Jose or if you just want to go to the dining hall without getting wet and next is a baseball cap so I pair this with my rain suit Put it over my bandana there and i put my hood over it because i don't like my face getting all wet so like yep like that and also something um something you don't really need but i recommend just for like um ease is um a waterproof bag for your phone this is really nice to have like because you're probably going to be going to the ocean or the beach a lot and you want to take photos and you don't want your phone to get wet or you want to keep your phone with you all the time in case someone tries to rob your bag while you're in the ocean. So highly recommend having this, but you don't really need it, but it's nice to have and all the souvenir shops sell this. So you don't have to get one here if you don't want to carry it all the way there. So yeah. So what we're going to be talking about next is skincare for hiking and being outside. So uh, first off, we're going to be talking about sunscreen. So here I have this SPF 100% and um, I really recommend using lotion sunscreen as opposed to like the spray on one because of the aerosols that are um, inside the spray on ones. Also, you like know fully that you're covered with um, these lotion ones. So um, on top of that, I recommend bringing different types of like hats. So I recommend bringing like a broad rimmed hat and a baseball cap, and that's like really all you need. Um, so one that I brought was my bucket hat from the Outer Banks. Um, but yeah, it comes with a little like chin strap because of winds, which I really recommend. And yeah, it's broad rimmed. And, but here's some other suggestions. So we have these here. Um, this one doesn't have a strap, but this one here is like, you can buy it at like Walmart for like $20 or less, but these come with like little neck things for like sun to protect your neck. And it comes with the strap here and also adjustable thing. And it's also floatable. So if you lose it in the water, then I'll just float there. Um, and it's broad and stiff. And so what these are really good for, let me show you. Um, these are good for like hiking around and um, I also recommend a bug net for your head. So they just go right on top. So you look like a beekeeper. And these are like great, not only for the daytime, but also at night. So where is it? So like, um, here is a headlamp, which I also recommend. So when you're hiking at night and you have your um, lamp on right here, then all the bugs will be attracted to the light on your face. And while you're going through the jungle at night, <laughs> that's really not what you want. So there's that. But also, um, these are really good for keeping the net off of your face while you are hiking at night. So, yeah, only really need two pairs of, um, of hats there. So, yeah. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> okay, next up, we're going to be talking about the bugs in Costa Rica. So, let me say this. There are hella bugs in Costa Rica. Ew! <laughs> Especially mosquitoes. And your favorite pastime is probably going to be itching your bug bites. So that's why I recommend 
bringing like a bigger size of this gold bond anti-itch cream because you're gonna be lathering up on that like especially your legs they love gnawing on your legs but to help mitigate the the bugs biting your legs i recommend um bringing this one here so like any type of like um lotion um bug spray is good i really like this one because it's odorless and um you know that you covered your whole body in it um because the mosquitoes there carry diseases like malaria and and uh what's it called rotavirus but yeah um like all this stuff like that i brought from like handmade natural things like even these things um like the spray on ones even like the 99 percent deet stuff does not work as well as the lotion things i don't know why even though like this doesn't have as much deet as other things mosquitoes just don't like this but mosquitoes they don't care about this stuff they'll still eat you so get the lotion type you'll not regret it <laughs> For eyewear, I suggest bringing those really cheap like plastic sunglasses that you get like at events. But if you're like me and you wear sungla uh, like glasses normally, then you can get these clip-on sunglasses that just go right on the bridge and that's good. Um, also people um, brought laundry bags, but I didn't think you really need them because they already give you like a hamper for your laundry. So don't waste space on a laundry bag. Um, also, I brought like a Ziploc bag full of like different size Ziplocs. So like a gallon size, a sandwich size, and a snack size. Also like, um, what's it called? Like, like rubber gloves for like, if you want to do your hair or like you're doing pandillas and you don't want to like scrub bathrooms with your bare hands, then those are good for you. Um, also for like entertainment, people brought like their journals, um, books some people brought their musical instruments such as like their violin and stuff um but yeah <laughs> so now i'm going to be talking about some like miscellaneous gadgets that um you should probably bring with you or consider so first off the packing list says that you'll need uh to bring like two water bottles which i don't recommend because they take up a lot of space just one Nalgene or a plastic water bottle that um, goes up to 32 ounces is really good and um, recommend plastic because it's lightweight. And yeah, um, next up is, I brought this, but I didn't really use it that much. A lot of people that weren't me used my chair more than I did, um, but it depends on what you think. Other people um, brought like different styles of folding chairs but this one's just like a tri-fold stool, like camping stool. This is like $10 at Bass Pro Shop. Didn't need it, but here we are. Um, next up is a pocket knife. Um, I didn't really use like a pocket knife that much, but other people did. Um, just based on preference, but I accidentally left my uh, nice pocket knife at like inside my carry-on bag and I got thrown away. Very sad about that. Um, also a sewing kit. Um, like I just brought like those really tiny ones. Um, I made my own um, like really tiny Altoid case size thing it is all that you need and make sure you have safety pins in there because they always come in handy. Um, next up, oh, here it is. Um, what a lot of people brought is their um, hammock. So make sure you bring your hammock plus your straps because they don't have that there. And they put that on the patio and hammock time is really nice. So recommend bringing your own hammock if you want it. Let's see here. Okay, um, next up is like gardening gloves. Um, you don't really have to bring these as well. It's just based on preference, but um, you're gonna have a gardening chore called uh, your pandillas, and um, you're gonna be working in the garden, which means like weeding and digging through compost and stuff. 
and um yeah just like leather gloves or like plastic glove not plastic gloves like um like polyester gardening gloves is all you basically need for that Um, they do have a soccer field there, so if you're into like playing soccer and you want to bring your cleats and um, all your stuff for that, then that's good because like the professors also like to play soccer and you can invite them down and they'll love to play with you guys. Um, but you don't need to bring a ball. Um, they also have a basketball court, so you don't need to bring any balls for that because they have that all there at the center. They also have yoga mats and I think a couple weights. I'm not quite sure, but yeah, you should be set on that. The next thing we're going to be talking about is Tupperware. So they suggested this on the um, packing list, but you can really like get it or not get it. It depends on how much space you have in your pack. Um, but yeah, you can always buy this in town, obviously. Um, but also, what they're really suggesting you use Tupperware for is for emergency sandwiches. So like when we're driving to Panama, you get, or like going to a weekend field trip, um, they give you like two emergency sandwiches. So if you're gonna bring Tupperware for that, make sure you can bring like a whole two sandwiches in there. Um, this one's also good, but also um, there's a big problem with these ants there and they'll get into anything because they're so tiny and they're so fast and um, we call it colonizing so like if you have something like laying on your desk for like less than an hour then the ants will sniff it out and they'll get all over it and then it'll be colonized and it's just really bad so um, you can also use your tupperware for like storing snacks in as well um, also you can bring like your own like um, cutlery and stuff here. Um, you don't have to bring it. It's just like a comfort thing because you can always bring like your own like silverware from the kitchen onto like field trips. So some place that this went in really handy was like um, during our week long field trips when we're living, when they kick you off of campus and you're living in like hostels and stuff and you don't have like kitchenware for like your own emergency peanut butter sandwiches and you're like ah how do I eat my oh, that was my dog like how do I eat my sandwich and then you pull, whip this out and then use this for like peanut butter and shit so that was really helpful but one thing you might be tempted to bring is like these cute like bento boxes they're usually really chunky um people have brought these and they have never used them because like they can't fit a sandwich in there. And like, I don't know, this is, if you're gonna bring this, you should like just leave it at the center to store your snacks in because it's really hunky and not really useful for field trips. And yeah, don't bring it if you don't have the space. One last option is like reusable bags. So these are also good for like you know, storing your snacks and stuff and sandwiches and reusable so they're easy to clean out and yeah, take with you. Also very packable. <laughs> so for towels, I recommend that you bring two pairs of towels and um, what I recommend is you bring a full like shower towel so this one is like kind of falling apart and stuff so what I suggest you do is that you bring a full shower towel that um, is kind of cruddy and kind of gross and at the end of the program you either throw it away or donate it so you don't have to haul it back with you because chances are you're gonna buy a lot of souvenirs and you just won't have the space to bring home an old towel. Um, also, I got this towel, um, this like camping towel off of uh, Amazon during Prime Day. That's the size right there. Um, but this one is good for like the beach because it's so lightweight and it's really big. Oops. 
it's really big, it's lightweight, and you can also use it as like a blanket. Um, but yeah, this is good for weekend trips when you're like packed on space and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, I got this off of Amazon, but also you can get towels in Costa Rica. Um, so this one I got in Costa Rica and it's also quite lightweight and polyester, which means it's really easy to dry, you know? So yeah, recommend two towels only and then just wash them a whole bunch. Miscellaneous things include like baby wipes and hand sanitizer. Definitely recommend bringing those like especially like travel size ones for field trips and stuff like that. Um, also like um, it says here to bring a Spanish English dictionary but you don't really need to bring that because they have some in the library already and you can just leave it there when you're done. Um, what else? Also binoculars, you don't have to bring those as well because the school has them. And um, it says university ID card. Um, this isn't really needed for SFS per se, um, but more needed for like, if you wanna go to a museum, they have like student discounts and stuff like that. So if you have your ID card, then they'll give you the discount. Um, also the school provides you with bedding so you don't need to bring that but what i will say is that they have a like thin like top blanket for you um but if you're like me and you get really cold at night then i would recommend like bringing something like like a throw blanket which is really nice um something like that but also in all the souvenir shops they have like these tapestries that you can get so that's really good for like um, going on field trips or going to like research centers and they only have like the really really thin flat sheet and you get cold uh, just throw that on there um, you can also like hang these up as like privacy screens on your bed um, like in your sewing kit if you bring like safety pins then you can like easily attach them onto like the bottom bunk which I did and that's how I use these tapestries. So next we're going to be talking about different tech that you should bring with you on this trip. So first off is our earbuds. Um, I got these two here, these two here um, at Costa Rica. And this one, this JBL uh, wireless one is not good. And this one for Apple devices is also not good. I got this at San Jose and they are knockoffs and they have really bad sound quality. So um, plus tech in Costa Rica is way more expensive than in America. So highly recommend um, bringing your own stuff from America here. Sadly, I had to buy those because my other ones were stolen on campus, if you can believe that. But yeah, <laughs> next up is um, gonna be a watch. So my mom got this for me um, in Sam's Club. They're having a deal and this is a waterproof Garmin watch. Obviously you don't need something as expensive and high tech as this watch, but it's really good to have. And they also have sell like waterproof watches at Walmart for like $20. Not needed, but really nice to have. Um, especially if like, you're like going to the ocean and stuff and you just wanna know like the time. But yeah, um, next up, I have my computer here, which has the packing list I'm looking at. So um, you're gonna wanna bring your computer and obviously all your chargers and stuff like that. Um, yeah. <clears throat> next up, they said to bring like a USB port drive. Um, you don't really need them for classes or like projects and stuff. I don't know, at least I didn't have to use them. But what I use this for is like, if you're like me and you're always running out of like space on your phone for pictures and stuff, then what I like to do is upload it on here. So this is like attaches directly into my phone and then I can upload all the stuff into here. And this is how I make my YouTube videos. So if you're interested, this is a box that it came in. I got this at Micro Center and it was actually like $60. So um, yeah, kind of expensive, but 
really useful. So highly recommend. The list also says that you can bring a camera. This is all based on personal preference, but for me, um, I'd say don't bring it like your fancy Canon cameras. Um, the people who did bring their fancy cameras rarely brought them out um, because they're like really susceptible to like water damage here and just like general packing. Um, they're really easy to break. And if you have like a phone with a good camera, just bring that and don't bring your expensive equipment. So some other gadgets that you'll probably need is um, I highly recommend a nice headlamp here. So this is good for hiking and um, you don't really need like any other thing like like using your phone flashlight for hiking is not the best idea. Um, with that, I recommend bringing like a pouch full of refill batteries that you need. Um, you can also just bring, like buy these in Costa Rica too. Like everything here you can buy in Costa Rica basically. It's not like you're living in the jungle and you don't have access to anything. Like you're minutes away from like the neighborhood grocery store and uh, the co-op which has more selection. But um, yeah, not that bad. And also, um, if I could redo it, I would bring my uh, little Bluetooth speaker with me because um, that was really fun. And then um, you can use it for a lot of things like hanging out at the pool or the beach. But yeah. Now let's talk about like all the stationery that you'll need. Um, so what they recommend is this brand called Right in the Rain. Um, this is a, like a really tiny notebook that I got for Christmas, but it's just like weatherproof paper and stuff. Um, I also got this notebook for uh, on like Prime Day and I was being really stupid because I unpacked my stuff when I got there and I left it on my table and I couldn't find it anywhere. So that's why it is all just blank because I didn't use it the whole semester even though it was right there on my table. Sorry, mom, because I know you're watching this. That was stupid. But I did bring some extra notebooks and I brought probably too many. So I left some there for you guys. Um, but yeah, you can always go into town. Town is like a like a 45 minute walk away from campus to the co-op. Um, but they always sell those there. Um, I haven't seen any waterproof ones, but just like cheap little like composition notebooks uh, is always abundant there. Also, um, I recommend bringing like a little pencil bag with all your stuff in there. So I just recommend like don't get too heavy on this because you won't really need that need them that much. But like a pencil, some extra lead, a pen, a sharpie, and also like little like elementary school scissors are come in handy a lot. Um, but yeah, just a tiny little thing with all your stuff. So let's talk about all the clothing you'll need to bring next. Um, so a word about the, the advice on the packing list is that you have to be very conservative and stuff like that. But honestly, the staff um, don't really care about what you wear. You can wear your shorts that are shorter than three inches inseam and all that stuff. And you can wear crop tops, like they don't really care. Um, it's more of like a cultural thing, I guess, um, to keep you safe because um, Costa Rica is a conservative country. And honestly, like, like the men will cat call you either way, like no matter what you wear and um, yeah, it's a big problem there. Like you'll get honked at and stuff like that, but um, it's it's okay. So like, just wear what you want, you know. So with that, let's start off by talking about um, underwear that you should bring. So pro tip: um, don't bring any cotton underwear. Don't bring any like natural material underwear because uh, you're gonna be sweating a lot. It's super hot there, and um, it's gonna be hard to dry off. So um, like here bring underwear that's like breathable like here this is a polyester material and it's stretchy and it's good um same with like boxers 
bring my this stuff not any cotton stuff because that will not dry in time and also with bras i recommend bringing just like sports bras and like stuff without pads because pads get chunky it gets hard to pack up um, and hard to fit into your suitcase to keep like it in shape so here you can just like ball it up and put it in your backpack but also I recommend bringing a couple of cute like bralettes for when you're going out on town and stuff like that. Okay, next up is socks. So I recommend bringing long pairs of socks for when you have to wear like um, rain boots and stuff like that. So that will make it more comfortable for you. Um, and also like shorter pairs of socks and make sure they are also polyester because that means it dries out faster. Um, but yeah, um, like I said, four pairs of long socks and about three pairs of short socks should do um, good for you. So next up is um, tank tops or um, like short sleeve shirts. So this is one I wore pretty frequently and obviously it's a crop top because who cares what you wear? Um, but yeah, I recommend bringing four to five um, pairs of tank tops or short sleeve shirts. Um, this is just for like daily wear and stuff like that. Um, you can buy a lot of good ones at like five and below. That's where I got one of my favorite pairs of tank tops. It's polyester, so you know what that means. It dries out really quickly. Um, but yeah, get those. So next up is long sleeve shirts. So here I got this one at like Walmart and it's really lightweight and breathable and it's made out of this material which is really nice. Um, but also um, we have these like sun shirts sort of deals. These are really good like if you want to go like surfing or like hang out at the beach all day without applying a whole bunch of like sunscreen all over you. Um, which I hate the texture of sunscreen by the way. Um, so I like lived in long sleeve stuff all the time. So here we are. And I recommend just like bringing two of these. Like I said before, I really hate wearing um, sunscreen all the time. So what I did is I brought these linen um, like button up shirts and I just put it over my outfit every time we went on like a hike or something. Um, so linen dries easily and that's why I recommend it. Not cotton, but, um, yeah. So I recommend bringing, a uh, linen cover up if you want. And also, um, I really liked having my linen pair of pants there, um, for like walking on the beach and stuff, but, um, not necessarily for hikes, but yeah, this is good as well. And it's breathable and it's light and it's good for the heat. In terms of warmth, I would only recommend bringing like two things. So what I brought here was actually this flannel. So of course, like anywhere else in the world. <laughs> so of course, anywhere else in the world, it's gonna get cooler at night. So I would wear this at nighttime. And then also I would recommend bringing like a sweatshirt for like, um, like mountainous areas like Baru when you go there it's gonna be a little bit cool um, sometimes like after it rains you're like freezing and you're like okay I need to put on a sweatshirt so that's what I recommend this for so let's talk about um, long pants that you'll need so Costa Rica is really hot and so you're not gonna be wanting to bring a lot of these pairs of hot pants um, even like going for me in uh, to the mountainous areas, they weren't as like cold as they usually say, but I don't know, it could change. Um, so what I recommend is bringing like two to three pairs of these um, long pants. Sometimes they're called like fisherman pants, but they're really lightweight um, and they're made of like polyester, so they dry easily. And what you can do is zip them off or you can even cuff them up here. So uh, you can find these a lot in thrift stores. That's where I got these. And yeah, I have another one here. Um, they have like these little 
um, belts that are really nice too. So um, these are good for like hiking, um, preventing mosquitoes and all that stuff. So recommend two to three of those. All good. Bucket you move. Get out of there. I have a video to film. Silly dog, he was sitting in my clothes. Next up, let's talk about the shorts he'll be wearing. So, like I said, sorry, my dog wants in. Come here. Oh, so needy. Okay, back to what I was saying. So like this one doesn't have a three inch inseam and that's okay. Um, so, but what it does have is it's polyester as well. It's got a lining and it's really good. Um, so I recommend like these things. Also, um, what I wore um, a lot was actually men's swimming trunks. Um, so this is a pair I have and it's got that inside lining, which I like. Um, and it's also very dryable, so um, that's good. But he's getting back into the box. Um, but yeah, so this one does have the three inch inseam, which um, I bought these for SFS originally. But um, if you like me and your thighs like rub and chafe a lot when you walk, these are really good for like hiking and stuff like that. And um, when I went shopping for SFS this trip specifically, I went and got these at Kohl's. These are my absolute favorite hiking shorts and I love them so much and I wish I got more pairs of these, but um, this one ha comes with like this belt inside already. And then um, it's got this like material, um, polyester material and it's got the three inch inseam and then it doesn't make your thighs chafe when you're walking. So my people with thick thighs, get one of these. Also, we have like different types of things. So like long pairs of shorts. This is my absolute favorite pair of shorts. Um, this one's made of cotton, which isn't that good. It took forever to dry on the clothesline, um, but also um, these like cargo shorts are really nice just for like everyday wear and stuff like that. So recommend, what I'd say, four to five pairs of shorts. Okay, I recommend bringing two pairs of PJs. That could be like a t-shirt and a pair of shorts, but um, you're gonna be living in a dorm room with like three to two other people, so make sure you cover up. So this is optional, but um, I really use this a lot, and sorry it's so wrinkly because it's been in my bag for a while, but um, this is a silk robe um, that you can use in um, the shower spaces and areas. So um, bring like a lightweight robe, or you can also just use your towel to cover up. But yeah, I recommend bringing your own robe that's short and lightweight. Something that I recommend that you bring um, for like presentation days, you want to look presentable and stuff. So I recommend bringing like one pair of like nice clothes. So what I brought is this uh, button up long sleeve shirt. And then I brought this to pair with it, just like um, a pair of like dress pants. So that should be good for presentations. The school does have a swimming pool that you can use, so I recommend bringing one to two pairs of uh, swim clothes. So um, what I brought is a, um, one set, like a bikini set, and also I brought a full body, like long sleeve um, swimsuit for like the beach and also for like surfing and stuff like that. So. So in Costa Rica, it's going to be so hot and you're going to be sweating all the time. Um, so what I don't recommend you doing is re-wearing clothes because you're going to get hella stinky. And so um, what you should be most concerned about is the eight, the um, like seven day break that you get. Um, 
in like the middle or like middle end of the trip and so if you don't want to be like cleaning your clothes in the sink with some soap uh, then I recommend bringing um, at least seven full outfits for your trip um, as like the bare minimum so yeah so next off let's talk about all the different types of shoes that you're gonna want to bring so the packing list actually recommends that you bring over the ankle hiking boots and I also recommend this as well because um, the the terrain that you're going to be hiking on is very mountainous, muddy, slippery, and all that stuff. And this just adds some extra protection to your ankle. Um, next off is rain boots, which I don't really recommend that you bring because the center actually provides you with rain boots. Um, unless you have like a really unusual size that's really like small or big, then perhaps you should get your own rain boots just to be safe but also they sell them uh, there in Costa Rica as well. So if you don't want to bring a big pair of hiking or like rain boots, then you can get them there and then donate them back to the center when you're done with them. But um, the thing with rain boots there is that it's really like, they have the really cheap ones. And so with that, it's like so uncomfortable. And sometimes you're going to be in your rain boots all day for a hike. Um, so that's why I recommend you bring, sorry, they're kind of gross, but like shoe inserts are really nice. I didn't bring these. I'm so sad I didn't because like they're really uncomfortable and they like give you blisters and stuff. So sometimes you're going to have to like double up on your socks or just wear really thick socks or like um, heel guards and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, wear that. Um, also, it's... Um, required that at night that you wear rain boots if you're walking around so that like if you're walking around in the center and like going to dinner and it's already dark then uh, you have to wear your rain boots um this is because there's snakes at the center and um if they bite then they can't bite through your rain boots and stuff like that so next let's talk about athletic shoes so this is something I really recommend is that you just bring a pair of tennis shoes and um, with these I, I'd like to run and walk around the neighborhood surrounding it. So really recommend a pair of old like beater tennis shoes to bring. Um, with this one, um, my pair of Vans, these are my most comfortable pair of shoes but I didn't bring them because they're kind of heavy. Um, but if you decide to like bring your skateboard and stuff like that, which I recommend that you bring because, um, it's really nice there to skate. Um, I would recommend bringing these. Um, also people like to bring their like Converse and things. And these shoes are way more stylish than like your old, um, running shoes. So like if you're going out in town, I would, um, wear these if I did bring them. So next, let's talk about um, your casual shoes that you're going to be bringing. So I brought these two, um, um, my Crocs, which are going to be the ones I wore the most during the program. And here you can see like a little hole and stuff being worn out into it because I use it so much. Um, but yeah, the center says that you should um, wear like closed toe shoes because um, of like the rocky terrain, there's like gravel there and stuff like that. So this is just to like protect yourself um, against that. Um, but I actually just like use these as like um, normal center walking around shoes and it doubled up as my shower shoes. So these are really nice and I recommend you bring these um, Crocs. But um, I also brought these sandals that I got at Five and Below and um so it has like the heel strap and stuff um i didn't really wear these as much as my crocs but they're nice to have like people brought um like what's it called like keens and stuff like that and that seemed like it worked out for them so um just another suggestion um also i wish i brought these because these are easier to slip on um and these could also work as shower shoes um and just like walking around in the building like as a slipper and things like that um but yeah i just got these at target for really cheap so another suggestion 
Another pair of shoes that I recommend that you bring if you have the space in your pack is like a nice pair of like dress shoes or something like that. Um, so I actually got these in San Jose and they're handmade, but um, these are really nice for like presentation days or interviews and stuff like that, uh, that you don't really want to wear your hiking boots to and you want to look more presentable towards. So yeah, recommend. Lastly, let me give you some suggestions on what types of toiletries you should be bringing. So let's start off by talking about hair care products. So when I first prepped for Costa Rica, I chopped up a bunch of like those natural um, soap blocks and I thought I was going to use them as like uh, shampoo bars and conditioner bars and stuff like that. But what I quickly found out is that um, when you use those natural bars, they leave like a waxy residue on your hair, uh, which isn't really comfortable. So I ended up just going to the co-op and getting a bottle of shampoo and conditioner. And so here I have this 10 fluid ounce bottle of shampoo. And honestly, I think this is um, the perfect size you need for like three and a half months um, there. So this is good. Also, um, hair waxes, or not hair wax, hair oil is good, um, just like finishing it off. And for my people with longer hair, I suggest um, bringing just like a little box of hair ties and um, bobby pins and things like that. So I recommend that you bring some of this uh, body powder um, if you're a runner because it helps with chafing and all that stuff. Um, also, I got this there, but you can um, buy a bunch of like aluminum-free uh, deodorants there. Um, next, just for convenience, I also recommend bringing like a tube of perfume. And something that is really essential is um, one or two things of lip balm because you're always going to be using that. So what I brought was a small bottle of lotion. So this is a two fluid ounce bottle, um, but I went during the wet season and I was really hot and sweaty and I didn't really need to use lotion a whole bunch, but there were like some occasions when I used this. Um, also, I was using a lot of like itchy cream. So um, I don't know, this is based on per personal preference. Uh, next up is this bottle here. So it's um, I reuse this hairspray bottle to make my own like poopery because um, you're going to be sharing a bathroom with a whole bunch of people and it's kind of embarrassing but yeah um, I suggest you bring this and I'll put up um, my recipe that I used um, but yeah sometimes the bathrooms are open at the top so there's like no walls to like it's like a stall and it's like but yeah, also for like weekend trips when you're um, sharing a room with a whole bunch of people, this is just like common courtesy and nice to have. Next off, let's talk about um, dental hygiene. So of course you don't want to forget your retainers if you wear those. Um, also your toothbrush, your floss. Um, I brought um, one of those like plastic floss things and also my metal floss thing um but yeah you don't want to skip out on your floss and also with your um toothpaste a smaller uh tube would be good for your whole trip so some extra random maintenance things um i suggest you bring like a travel size grooming kit and uh make sure it has like uh, nail clippers in there because you'll really need those and I don't suggest you share them with other people. Um, also, uh, your hairbrush. Um, don't look at it, it's kind of gross. Um, also, this came in handy, this um, hydrogen peroxide spray, just a little bit. Um, it's good for like ear, ear piercings and all that stuff. Um, also, a glasses case if you have them, like a hard case, not a soft case and a bandana for like pulling back hair and stuff like that. Um, also, um, in Costa Rica, I got a whole bunch of tattoos and if you are planning on getting tattooed or pierced in Costa Rica, which I highly suggest you do, um, I'll put um, 
a link of like all these really good tattoo artists that I went to or my friends went to and uh, I confirmed that they're safe and they're really nice um, but I can show you some so here's one tattoo I got and then I got this one hand poked in Manuel Antonio and this one from San Jose um, but yeah I suggest if you're going to get some there that you bring um, Aquaphor, which is really good for like, oops, like um, tattoo care um, and also like piercing care solution. So, um, yeah. These aren't really necessities, but I just brought them for comfort's sake. Um, but this I got in Costa Rica. This is just um, makeup remover, but you should bring like makeup wipes and stuff if you use makeup and also my makeup bag. So yeah. Here is the baggie I mentioned earlier. So I just like suggest bringing this um, like sandwich bag size of cotton balls and like cotton swabs. Um, you don't need to bring a whole big bag and if you do then I just like suggest buying it there instead of like hauling it from the US or wherever you're from to Costa Rica. So yeah, this is all you really need. So next up we're going to be talking about feminine hygiene products. So what I have here is um, my menstrual cup. Um, it's a honey pot and I got this at like Target I think but you can like find them at Walmart and um, all those big brand stores. And um, I really recommend those because they're more sustainable and they're really easy to take care of. And I really cut back on the cost of buying like the disposable ones. So like I haven't bought a box in like um, probably like a year, but um, yeah, I recommend those. But also you can buy the reusable pads or you can learn how to make your own ones. But I don't really recommend those because like the ones that I've bought, they get stained and they get gross and they're really chunky and they slip around a lot. Um, so don't really recommend those, but like if you have them, you like them, that's cool. Um, also another option is what I did. I like, um, when I got there, I bought a box and I split it with my friends because I don't really use that many of like pads or liners. And so I split them with my friends and uh, yeah, you can do that. That goes with laundry detergent as well. Um, so they have really big bags of like powdered soap that you can use for your laundry. And so um, I bought one of those and I split them with my roommates and um, it lasts us the whole entire session. So um, no need to buy them here and carry it all the way to Costa Rica if you just buy it there for like the same price. Something really nifty that I brought was um, these storage bags, um, vacuum storage bags. So it comes with, um, like if you get them off of Amazon, you get a whole bunch of sizes and it comes with bags. And it also gives you um, this manual pump. So you put it in there and then you pump it until all the air is out. So I'll show you a little demonstration. So here is the small size bag with my throw and a bunch of um, tops inside. So here it is again um, with all the air taken out. And um, as you can see, I have my big Sherpa throw in here and it's all just been reduced down to this one huggy, chunky, dense block. Um, so yeah, this is really great if you're a heavy packer like I am. Um, so this makes things really manageable and easy to fit in your backpack. At the end of the program, uh, you'll have a chance to donate um, some stuff that you don't want to take back with you. Um, so what they do is they just say leave your um, stuff that you don't want on a table at the very end and then you just put all put it all on there and then so that's why a lot of people bring like old clothing and like old supplies and stuff that they want to donate back to the program um or to the community and so yeah <laughs> if you would have asked me what i would bring if i had the space i would tell you i would have got my beloved longboard 